Don't care. Okay. How, How are you, Johnny? You What's well? the crack? Yeah, all Social quick. distancing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stay away. Will Beautiful. we get a cup of tea in? We will. Um, or coffee? Biscuits. You must be one of the new trainers that actually has filter coffee and all the rice. No, I, no. I don't have rice. It's the standard roll coffee. Plenty of propaganda on the wall about no, your I, I didn't actually do the picture, well. so I'm not well, just... they're there anyway. I'm not yeah. the most vain person of all time. <laughs> they're all from your riding days, I think, so none of the training success up on the wall yet. No, we need to get a few of the fancy blue up here, I think. Mm. Yeah. What's your favourite of these? Is it Magna Grisha or...? Yeah, look, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of great days. Everything from my first Group 1, which would have been intricately um, in the Moyle on, on, on Champions Weekend, and... Um, you know, that was the first big one that's kind of got me rolling in the big mm. races and that one was very special and um, and then you suppose, you know, I have Saxon Warrior and a few of the Guineas are obviously uh, great days as well, um, happily. So I won the Mugler twice, I was lucky to have two good fillies. Um, so yeah, no, a lot of great days. You, you would mainly have horses that are essentially three-year-old types? Yeah, I think um, Coolmore is kind of um, what they always try and name as classic horses. So that would be mile plus three-year-olds. Um, so a lot of the horses that I'd have, even two-year-olds that have one, would be um, look like they should be better at three. Um, so yeah, it's, um, they're the they're the ones that everyone's trying to breed. They're the important horses. Mm, and in terms of training, has it more or less gone as you've envisaged it would? Yeah, look, I, I couldn't have envisaged that it would go this well. You know, mm. to say that. Well, funny had... enough, you were while waiting for your first winner. Uh, yeah, I, I, they were all running well though. It was mm. um, I had plenty seconds and um, but that uh, wasn't a concern. No, 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 no. It was, it wasn't really, and I was, I was glad that I, that I uh, had the two winners on the all weather, um. So that's what I kind of wanted to get a winner out of the way before the, the turf started, and um, I'm glad I done that. But if you told me that I'd have two Group One winners and a, a Group Three winner, you know, by this time of year, I'd have, I'd have taken hand and offer. We were looking ahead to obviously Long Jean's Irish Champions Weekend, and it's in a few years now, but but it's still a relatively young concept, and it's been amazing success. Yeah, it's been incredible. It's a beautiful position in the year in the calendar for um for good horses to show up. You've seen yourself how strong the Champions Stakes has been. All the top horses in Europe seem to show up there, so um it's been a great success, and um, there's some serious racing there every year. I haven't had a great summer weather-wise, but one morning like this, you wouldn't rather be anywhere else nearly. Yeah, it's a nice office to have, I suppose. Mm. The main question I, I wanted to ask is, what's it like being a boss to people three times your age or twice your age or whatever? The lads here make it easy, do you know, that kind of way. I don't, I don't try and order anyone around or anything like that. I think when you have good people working with you, it's what makes the difference. How did you get staff? We got some of them from Bally Doyle, and then some of the lads were here with David before, so they just, um, you Coach know. Coach from your dad then? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was <laughs> eyeing them up there <laughs> for the last few years. No, but um, we had a few yearlings here last year, kind of overflow from Bally Doyle, and then we were doing boats, so I was riding up on Bally Doyle and then coming over here, and uh, a few of the lads were coming with me doing that, and then um, a few of them uh, stuck. You're probably the only trainer that's still grown then in Ireland, are you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I thought there's a few lads that look like they're getting bigger every year. <laughs>